Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Channel. This is S23 Ultra and we're going to change the front screen. This video is not only for the front screen repair or replacement. You can follow the procedure and you can literally change anything, charging port, camera, battery, anything from S23 Ultra. This phone ha uh, phone screen has been replaced already, so we did not put any effort to take the back glass off it was pretty easy he used 90 percent alcohol and he used this thin film and the back glass was out obviously there is a lot of glue inside the man who repaired this already he put lots and lots of glue we will uh, clean the back glass later but let's move on what to do and how will it work there are 16 silver screws inside you need to take all the 16 screws out and there's a black screw near the camera but we're gonna take all the silver uh, screws out please make sure to use the appropriate um, screwdriver you need to see how many what face and this and that of course when you are doing it you will know that which screwdriver is best for these screws now these screws are all of same size so you don't have to put them all separate but you you can uh, make the c and if you want to you can put them all separate separate now this uh, thin film has screws on it make sure to take uh, the screws off and there are uh, there are flexes on this thin film this thin film is for the wireless charger and you for your contactless payments like for your debit card and credit card so yeah we don't want to damage this one or we don't want to damage the flex okay but he is only taking uh, the screws first and then he gonna take the film away please be careful each and every process need time if you are not that quick don't rush he did this process literally in 15 minutes this video is unedited and a raw video this is a wireless charger film okay the paper thin film has coil inside so do not damage anything now this is the loudspeaker all the screws are out it will be out with a little click yeah but of course you need some cautions you don't want to uh, poke the screwdriver into the charging port this is the charging port guys this is the charging port he is going to take all three ribbons out first yeah disconnect the the flexes yeah and take them out one by one uh, both of the, those black ribbons are different in size so you will know that uh, which one is going to which one there are three screws on the charging port so you need to take the screws out first and then the charging port before you take the charging port out you need to take the sim tray out and be careful the microphone uh, hole is very close to the uh, sim tray so do not put the uh, pin into the microphone hole otherwise microphone will be damaged you took the sim tray out now with a screwdriver is very loose and easy so you can take uh, the charging port out easily this charging port sim tray if you don't uh, take the sim tray out it can damage the charging port thanks to samsung s23 ultra batteries really easy uh, to take it uh, yeah you can pull it out without any alcohol or anything like that but this phone was re uh, repaired already so there's no uh, double-sided tape or anything inside you need to unplug the flex first this is the pen flex so you always wish to um, uh, you know connect the flex when you want to repair the screen when you put this one this pen back to the new screen you need to plug this th connect this flex again now this is the ear speaker yeah the, we forgot the screw yeah he is taking the screw out that's all right this is ear speaker and ear speaker is coming with the vibrator the red thing around the ear speaker this square is the ear speaker and round there there's a 
thin red film which is the vibrator now take the flexes uh, disconnect the flexes this is the front camera that one disconnect the flex first then take the camera out now you need to take the motherboard out and the cameras are attached to the motherboard now this is the tear down you can change any part of the s23 ultra by following the same process we have to change the screen we prefer to put the charging port first so put the charging port first and then you can put the screws one by one all three screws yeah remember we took them off from the charging board now we're putting them back again after the screwdrivers we're gonna oh uh, sorry after the screws we're gonna put the sim tray back because we don't want to forget that so yes time to put the sim tray in okay pen because these are the things we easily forget pen and then connect the don't forget to connect the uh cam uh pen flex okay so these are the flexes now take the flexes away so that this can the motherboard can sit easily if the flexes are not away the motherboard will not sit properly and we don't want to you know damage anything so put the uh, flexes one by one this is the pen flex attach it properly and double check if it's attached or not attached okay connect the flexes okay perfect now front camera this is very easy to put this in and then connect the flex if any uh, flex is not connected properly obviously that thing will not work so we don't want to get any kind of hassle we just want to avoid uh, the hassle and want to save our time black screw go back to the that camera and all the screws are very similar and easy of the same size now we're putting back the loudspeaker uh, sorry ear speaker easily click it in that's all and then attach the flex that's it it's nothing it's maybe just the glue there okay yeah checking everything now this was a screen a refurbished screen time to put the battery inside put the battery inside and connect the flex battery will be straight something will be written right upright yeah so this is very easy to put the flex um put the battery inside and attach the flex now this side up arrow is saying this side up and with the size of the flex and the size of the connector you will um you know uh, know which one is for the which one this is perfect for this side this connector is perfect yeah so we don't want to put it on the left hand side one because both look similar but both has different flex size both connectors are different in size so this one i think a little wider than the other one but when you're doing it you will know that make sure to click them properly of course we want um, the chips to join each other so of course so that um, the screen can work perfect the charging port can work perfect everything should work perfect okay and the thin one as well now he's going to put the loudspeaker back as you can see you need to put it i think slip it a little bit inside and then there will be a click that's all check all the connect connections and then you want to turn it on to see if it's all working good or not because if something is not working and you um uh, you know close the phone then it will be a little hassle to open it back again yeah so screen is all working fine everything was working fine customer was very very happy to see that how he changed the screen within like 15 minutes or less than 15 minutes now put the screws back and this was i'm sure this video was very helpful 
please subscribe the channel and uh, give us a thumb up so other people know that this is useful please note the number from the screen you can contact us for front screen replacement we base in east london uh, we do call our service as well so you don't have to travel we will come to you repair at your place within like 15 20 minutes while you wait and we do provide full training as well so for the repairing to the recycling we do screen refurbishment as well for iphones ipad and samsung you can learn right it is not difficult anyone can do it yes we do need uh, some time and dedication but this is not hard and this field is the best yeah love your job now at the end he put the paper thin film back and yeah this is very important film it has copper wires inside which will uh, help us with the wireless charger and our contact uh, contactless payments uh, screw it up and uh, secure it properly i'm sure it was helpful please uh, let me know in the comment section which phone repairing or glass replacement you want to see next and uh, we really like your support we know all the comments uh, i know all the um, uh, support coming from all over the world especially from india thank you so very much now this is the glue we use uh, in our screen refurbishment and this is what we put um, in our screen replacement for the bag glass if you don't have uh, this glue this is the double-sided tape you need to use the double-sided tape so you can attach the bag glass easily now you need to check if the edges are aligned or not if they are aligned you need to put it uh, put the rubber bands around the phone so bag glass can stick properly to the phone we put the rubber bands for at least uh, one hour but longer is better if customer is coming to pick the phone up later take the rubber bands off after one hour then give it to customer if customer is in a rush just tell them to take it off after one hour i am sure you like the videos don't forget to like and subscribe the channel so we can put more effort into our videos take care bye